All right, so I've made two railguns now, both of them on a plane, and while one actually shot a projectile, and then the other one just launched my seat to form an injection seat. This time, <laughs> I'm gonna make basically a railgun shotgun sort of thing, like a cluster projectile, something like that. Because I was doing some experimenting, and it's not actually all that difficult to get something that can consistently throw out a bunch of chunks of just dynamite or something at a time. So this probably won't have much range or accuracy, but I should be able to just strap it to a plane, fly towards a target, and then just obliterate anything in front of me. So in order to test this, I'm just going to make a quick little test platform. Now if I have a rate of magnets like this, and then have all the dynamite, and detachable blocks lined up like this and then just stack it a couple times move the magnets back a bit and then copy them all the way down to the end here this should give me a functional or at least mostly functional piece of equipment here and if i set all the detachable blocks on the same button stable the controls for the dynamite and give all the magnets a reverse input here this should be able to fire it just like this oh wow yeah uh, now none of them really went off <laughs> because that just happens for some reason. I think I can kind of fix it if I just put this on an incline so they can fall a bit and they'll have more momentum when I'm actually flying but as you can see uh, it has quite a bit of recoil but it just, oh wow, it, it just flings them. I mean look at this. That's pretty cool. Now I want to actually be able to put this on a plane. I'm just going to get building now and uh, I don't know, we'll go, we'll go into the build time lapse and see what I end up with. <laughs> Alright, I think I finished the primary shape of this thing and I actually really like how this turned out. Uh, we are at already almost 550 complexity, uh, which is a little concerning, especially since how much we weigh, uh, we're gonna need probably quite a few wing pieces, uh, but you know, maybe it'll be fine. I really hope I don't have to use complexity mod again because that gets kind of annoying. Uh, but also, I added uh, here, if I select all the magnets here, as you can see, I've got like a whole just block of magnets back here, which should just help propel this dynamite out of the barrel. Uh, the aerodynamics are pretty pretty atrocious up here. Uh, actually, I can probably add some aerodynamics to the end of the barrel there. Um, and you know what? I'm just gonna drag glitch the dynamite here. I don't actually know if it'll affect it in flight uh, or once it like actually gets shot, but this way we won't have to deal with that up there. So that should all detach, getting rid of the abysmal drag up there. And I'm just gonna try and make the end of the barrel a little more aerodynamic. That way maybe we won't go like two kilometers per hour. Okay, now with that drag glitch up in the front, this very cool looking uh, end of barrel thing down there, and some uh, aerodynamics on the inside there. Oh, wait, what was that? Uh, oh. Okay, we'll just ignore that. Uh, and this little spot there. The aerodynamics are actually quite good. And oh my, that used up. Okay. Okay, well, we're using complexity mod again for this one. You know what, first, let me just see if this thing fires. Uh, because it would be really unfortunate if it just didn't work. Wow, uh... I think that worked. What did it break? Did it, it broke the bottom of the barrel. Uh, does it do that all the time? No. Wait. Okay, it's just breaking this end piece. You know what, who really needs good aerodynamics anyway? Okay, how about now? Go. Uh, I think it's working now. Uh, let me just set up uh, an anchor pin down like here, so maybe it won't like fly back when I'm trying to test fire this thing. Okay. There we go. Look at that. That's good. Okay. So we are. Okay. Wow. We have a hundred and twenty-one complexity to work with, uh, and with elevators and stuff. Oh wow. That's. Yeah, these are five complexity, okay. Yeah, I might need complexity mod for this one. Okay, well, uh, we are at 745 complexity, and this is what I've got. 
it's a it's a plane of some sort, that's for sure. Let's see if it even flies. Um, it definitely looks interesting with the massive barrel there, but that's fine. All right, it does all oh my it weighs so much. It weighs, this is. I, did you see? I just dropped off the carrier. Okay, well, uh, it does fly somewhat level. Okay, it just it just drops out of the sky. It's actually just a brick with wings, and I did not set up the ailerons correctly. <laughs> All right, attempt two. Just look how it drops. It like oh ah okay okay yeah I oh oh and eh, no, I'm going under. <laughs> this um I think it needs more wing area. <laughs> okay. Even more complex now, but as you can see, we've got some massive wings. Um, it's, you know, let's see, does it drop? Oh, look at that, it doesn't drop qu quite as much. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. But, hey, you know what? We're flying, and how's first person? I feel like I'm gonna have, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so high up, and the wings are so far in front of me. This is the first time I've used the VIP seat in a plane, I think, and it actually, like, looks decent like i feel like this actually fits uh so that's cool um this thing is uh kind of slow but I, I mean i i was worried it would be even worse um i shouldn't be this slow for two rocket engines and what like 12 dragon jets in there but then again the aerodynamics are atrocious uh let's let's just fire this thing i really hope it doesn't break three two one go oh oh no i did I, I think I oh, I have part of the that okay wow, <laughs> I I didn't think it would work. There was like no recoil there, and it fired so smoothly. I'm so used to firing projectiles, and having that thing like spaz out or just I don't know like the last time I had a railgun thing, with that ejection seat. Which by the way, you should watch that. That was a cool video. Uh, when I fire that, there'd be that like massive weird like detaching delay where it looked like the whole creation was going forward and then it would all update it was weird and on the ground this thing has an absurd amount of recoil because you know a lot of mass were thrown out of this but look at this if i fire okay we do actually lose a lot of speed and oh okay it really doesn't throw it very far um i was there a piece of dynamite caught in how does that even happen I am a little worried when we fire this target, uh, I'm not actually gonna get, be able to like pull up fast enough. Um, oh no. Oh no. Please, no. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of worried I won't be able to pull up and out of the way fast enough because they really don't go very far. The magnet placing is not very efficient on like a per dynamite basis, if you know what I mean. I mean, you can see there's a lot of space in there to allow it to not just eviscerate the front of the base is that even the right word i i don't know if i use that correctly but you know just completely rip the front of the barrel to shreds or just the entirety of it wow i do not pitch very fast i'm gonna need to fix that um wow this is okay i this is so sluggish to try and fly i just flew all the way out there and now i gotta respawn and set this back up all right okay well that's what i get for flying badly let me up the angle on all these oh you know what Now's a good time to paint this thing up. I have no idea how I'm going to paint this, but I'll come up with something. Alright, uh, I painted it up, and as you can see, I've gone with that theme I've decided to just stick with every time I make a railgun, where I have that kind of fiery gradient sort of thing. Uh, I spent way too long trying to get the decal on the end there to work, to make it fade in, but I don't think it even looks very good, so <laughs> I, you know, I'm kind of regretting spending like... 10 minutes on that alone, but it's fine. Let's just go shoot it at stuff. It's It's been an hour already. I, <laughs> I can't do this, man. Uh, let's just let's just shoot it. All right, here we go. And fire. Okay, that was beautiful. That was... that. I don't even care that it kind of destroyed me. That was... I, that was the most amazing uh, feeling, just having a creation actually like hit the target and destroy it it actually it actually did it it destroyed the target for once i don't have to do this like i could just end it here like i did it i did the thing but that would also be kind of boring yeah i'm just i i'm i don't know i'm just surprised that that actually worked decently like that that doesn't normally happen with this sort of thing like this is 
I wouldn't call it a, a useful weapon, but it's almost not unconventional. Wait, no, it, it absolutely is. It's it's a shotgun railgun. It, it, <laughs> you can't get much, well, you can get less, less, less conventional. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Let me go spawn something in, uh, and I think... I think everybody here knows exactly- well, maybe not everybody. If you don't know what I'm about to spawn in, that means maybe- maybe you're new. Which- which is high- you know, high. And thanks for making it this far. You should consider subscribing or something because I think if I tell you to do that, I get more subscribers on the video. But yeah, of course, we're gonna get out the comp- am I in- what? Let me out. Let me, I'm st oh no, I'm in the seat. I- <laughs> I- I'm- I'm kinda tired right now, I did not- sleep enough last night so i don't even know what i'm saying uh but yeah let's let's go shoot this thing i should have placed that closer to the edge uh you know actually it'll be fine this dynamite falls a lot this might be one of my favorite builds i've done J just because of how much that actually worked all right let's go just nice and gentle or not not actually gentle we're trying to explode this thing and go and let's get out of here. Oh no! I did not make it. Oh. Wow. There's just nothing left. Alright, uh, oh, there's also nothing left of that thing. Wow. Um, why can't- why can I not repair the- okay, whatever. The- the, um, the computer is- it's- it's gone. There's- <laughs> there's not a single block left. Alright, that is what I call an effective weapon. Um, let, let's see what else I can shoot this at. Ah, uh, perfect. The plane from my last video. Alright, let's destroy this thing. Uh, I don't think this thing will put up much of a fight. Well, none of them are gonna put up a fight. They're just sitting there, but <laughs> I don't think this is gonna do very well against all of- Okay, well, I keep saying just redundant things. Nothing is going to do well against this. Um, well, except maybe like- No, not even- I was gonna say something with like a bunch of shields, but those don't- those aren't gonna do anything against physical blocks. I gotta take this into like a multiplayer server and just shoot it at people. See how fast I get kicked. All right, let's see here. Um, go. All right, pull up. Oh, I actually survived, but I I wasn't able to hit it very directly. I kind of missed. Although that's still way more damage than these these things normally do. And wow, this thing flies amazingly now. Whoa, wait. Okay, hold on. Let me pull up here. If I level out here, it actually flies, like, almost perfectly. Look at this. This is beautiful. Why Why is it that the planes, they always just fly perfectly after I've, like, fired the weapon? Well, I guess I know exactly why. It's because they, it weighs so much. Uh, let's go in for a second pass, uh, because I don't like this thing very much. Actually, I kind of do. It was, it was cool. Fire. Oh, that was perfect. There's nothing left. Oh wait, there's no no, there's actually nothing left. It's it's gone. Alright, what else can I shoot? Aha! The boulder. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing something with this for a video. Um, because it's, it's it's a pretty good boulder. And you know what actually? Let's spawn in a few of them. Because that thing is not very big. Alright, three boulders. That should be enough. There there's some some pretty uh pretty oh no. Oh I I lost an engine Okay. That's not cool. They're pretty nice. I oh <laughs> that explosion. Is, oh yeah, those are actually the boulders are actually somewhat sphere shaped, which is you know that that wasn't an easy feat. It actually wasn't that hard to do. I did I actually just lose an engine? Please let me repair. All right, let's shoot these boulders so I can go eat dinner. I'm kind of hungry. Uh, if I go kind of from above here and then just like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. Those things weigh a lot, too. And it flung it. Oh. What? Okay, why? Why are the the lips, like, the edges of the carrier? Why are they that weird? The boulder just rolled to the edge, and then it just got shot off. Let's shoot this thing next. It's the little, like, not little, actually. This thing's, I like, 700 complexity. Uh, big VTOL that I made and it's pretty tanky maybe so I should be have a well I guess a more interesting time destroying it <laughs> it's gonna get destroyed either way unless I miss but I haven't actually missed a single one of these times this is shocking this is the most useful weapon I've made uh, of all like ever that's not how this is supposed to go okay 
Um, let's line this up. This is really, uh, this thing actually is fairly stable, which is a first for this sort of thing. Alright, go. And get out of here. Oh! Alright, I kind of got hit there, but... It's... <laughs> wow. Um, oh, look at that. The damage on the belly there. Uh, I can still fly, though. That actually wasn't all that bad. Alright, we can go in for landing and check out the damage. Wow. Uh, yeah, there's just not a whole lot left. I mean, the the rear is kind of okay, but the wings are... One's gone and the other has a few holes in it, and the front is just completely gone. Alright, you know what? One more thing I should do before I end this. I'm gonna see if I can get my friend Wemplar and see if he, I can get him to fly a plane and then see if I can shoot it at him. Please don't kill me. I have a family. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> None of them even went off. <laughs> Literally not a single one blew up. Oh. <laughs> Only a few went, uh, blew up. What oh, a shot. Oh, th there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm uh, pretty much dead. I'm pretty Sometimes sure it works. Like all of them at the same time there. Oh, oh, there's a piece left. <gasps> <laughs> what a wonderful piece. Oh, two pieces. Oh. oh, no, that's gone. Oh. <laughs> I think one dynamite went off. Alright, that's about it for this. Um, you should like subscribe if you've already made it to the end of the video because I mean, if you've made it to the end, that means you've you probably enjoyed it. Or maybe you fell asleep and it played in the background, which thanks anyway. You, you gave me some watch time and told the algorithm that it's a good video, so <laughs> thanks either way. And also join my Discord server if you haven't already because it's a pretty cool place and I'm trying to get more members in it because we don't have many right now because I keep forgetting to promote it. Uh, yeah, I think it's about time I fly into a mountain with this thing, and I, I won't even shoot it, I'll just- Actually, I could shoot myself and- well, no, that, that wouldn't be the traditional thing to do. I've gotta fly into a mountain, and let it explode to end this off. Thanks again for watching to the end, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the- in the next one where I make probably a worse thing than this, but maybe something cooler, I don't know. <laughs>